What's up everybody, Superdrix fan here for another car review. This is of course the 2015 Dodge Dart SXT. Huge thanks to Dodge for providing me with this very nice press car to review for you guys today. So about the Dodge Dart, uh, I think it's a great looking car and uh, you know in this segment where there's a lot of really happy looking cars, this one's I think definitely one of the most aggressive and really attractive looking designs. I love that crosshair style grille and it's just very sleek and especially in this laser blue color really just looks awesome and the back end I think is one of the best parts of this car with those uh, signature racetrack tail lamps that they have that illuminate all the way around at night and look really really cool and uh, overall I just think from every angle this car looks really cool. Whereas for the interior of the Dodge Dart it's pretty nice for what it is so first things first sitting down these seats uh, you know the nice uh, comfortable cloth and uh, they feel pretty good you know I've been driving this car for a couple of days already and these seats have been comfortable the whole time um, so you have the smooth cloth on the outside and you have the rougher cloth on the inside here that helps to hold you in place a little bit in corners um, as far as bolstering goes it's a little bit on the wide side the uh, torso supports not too bad um, but the thigh support definitely could use uh, a little bit of a beefier bolster I think uh, again this I know this isn't a performance car so I can't expect crazy seats but a little bit more bolstering even just in normal cornering would be nice next is the steering wheel on the dart here which is uh, nice I wish it was leather wrapped but that's something you can get in the higher trim levels and uh, so but I mean even as it is though it's still it's a nice wheel to use as a really good 9 and 3 grip a uh, little 10 and 2 notches here and you have a few buttons here and uh, not too cluttered it is nice though you know all these uh, Dodge vehicles have these buttons behind the wheel that will adjust the radio and uh, things like that so uh, you know the volume and all that is right there on the wheel so uh, that's very convenient and I don't know why more car companies don't adopt a similar thing because it's very nice to have them right behind the wheel there next is the gauges in the Dodge Dart here which are really cool I like them a lot I love the red accents I love the font of the gauges they look very cool digital gauges are actually an option in this uh, you can get them in the higher trim levels uh, but I really like these uh, you know regular gauges that come with it I think they look great coming on to the center of the dashboard here it's very clean and simple so you have this great uh, it's an option that you connect uh, 8.4 inch touchscreen which is in this car and it's great um, I think this is probably the industry leader as far as ease of use and uh, just a very nice system to use so you know you have your basic radio controls the first one uh, you have your controls this one has heated seats as an option as well and so it has all those controls there navigation maps are very clear and crisp you also have all your climate controls here on the screen um, um, and coming down to the rest of the controls here you do have some of the climate control uh, stuff here but you there are some things you kind of have to do only through the screen uh, but you have all the basic main things you need here the places that you touch and the things that you interact with those things feel good all the volume knobs are nicely rubberized and have a uh, good feeling to them uh, you have you know, the dash pad here up here for this brow for the dashboard that's nicely uh, trimmed in some soft leather feeling materials and then you have the same materials over here on the door so you know leaning your elbow on this door here that's all nice and soft um, and then you know also over here with the center console that's very soft and nice to rest your elbow on as well one super cool thing that whenever you get this Uconnect touchscreen option package is that it gives you this illuminated dash area which uh, it looks cool even in the daytime because you just have this nice red uh, underlying trim uh, beneath the piano black uh, finish on the dash here which is just a very cool design on its own and I love that little pop of color but at night that is beautiful I love looking at that at night and that's so unique um, it's you know it's not over the top it's not super bright it's just enough to really just make this more colorful and more exciting and that alone that feature alone for some reason makes this really outstanding over a lot of other cars that I've ever reviewed period not just in this segment I love that thing it's just it's such a cool idea just unique and creative and I applaud Dodge for even offering something like that as far as storage space goes in the dart here it's very good so you have a uh, map pockets here in the doors that have uh, a nice bottle holder which I always like to see and then uh, coming along to the center here you have a very large cubby you can fit all kinds of stuff in there there's also a power outlet there uh, within easy reach and so that's good to have you have the two cup holders which are uh, nice and uh, regular sized and then you have uh, the 
this center console here, which is very large. You can fit lots and lots of stuff in there very deep. You also have another power outlet in there in addition to a USB jack and an auxiliary jack. And um, so you fit lots of stuff in there. So I would say the storage space in this car is great. Backseat space in the Dart is very good. So very spacious, um, very accommodating. Um, I'm five foot nine, me sitting behind myself. I have several inches of leg room to spare. Lots of headroom, um, you know, being a normal sedan shape here. It just has all kinds of room. Trunk space in the Dart is excellent. Um, it's a huge wide opening, so you can fit large items in there with ease. Uh, it also is just a large trunk in general, not just for this segment, but it's larger than some of the mid-size luxury sedan trunks that I've uh, reviewed in the past. So a very spacious trunk, and you could not ask for a roomier trunk in a car of this size. It's probably the best out there. One last thing I want to mention is with the options that I went over, like this Uconnect screen, the heated seats, and a couple of other things, um, this car, the base price is $18,795, but as tested, the one I'm driving here is $23,070. All right, so start and go for a drive. Um, another thing about the nice SXT model here is you have keyless entry with a remote start as well and a nice little key fob. So you just slip that in here, starts right up. All right, so setting off in the 2015 Dodge Dart SXT. Well, it's a, a very nice car to drive. So uh, first thing you notice is it's very smooth. It's very quiet. Uh, it's very refined. And um, it's that's something that's always impressive, especially in a car that costs, you know, starting price, like I said, just under $19,000. One thing you do notice right off the bat, though, and it's the first thing I notice is this transmission loves to hold gears. I mean, it's just in standard drive. There's no sport mode that's on or anything, um, but it loves to just hold gears. And and like just to accelerate I was only going 25 it went up to like 3,000 rpms um, and it just likes to hold gears which I actually think is kind of cool because so many cars these days upshift every thousand rpm just to try and get the most fuel economy possible all right so let's turn on this back right here and see how it does your breath away but it's enough to get up and go so you have about 184 horsepower which comes on in the upper rpm ranges and you have about 171 pounds feet of torque from this 2.4 liter tiger shark four-cylinder engine which is one of the best names for an engine ever and um you know it's a healthy amount of power this car is roughly just under 3300 pounds or so visibility in the dart is pretty good so you have a very good view forward the hood drops down nicely so your front view is unobscured uh side visibility is pretty good you have large windows and you have a B pillar there, but uh, you know, it's not too bad to work around. And uh, rear visibility is very good, you know, it's a pretty large rear window, and so great view out everywhere. Coming up to some corners here now. Uh uh, one thing I can say right off the bat is the steering weight in this car is great. Some of these, uh, you know, more affordable uh, compact cars have really light steering, but this one has a really meaty feel to it and feels really good. And uh, as I'm braking for this corner, the brakes actually feel really good as well. I'm surprised. Anyway, super tight corner, checking it in here. And it, it handles itself really well. I mean, it's a, it feels a little bit on the heavy side, I will say. 3,300 pounds in a smaller car. It's a little on the high side, I think, but, uh, you know, it still it handles it pretty well. I mean, obviously, again, for an ordinary, you know, compact car, nothing that's, you know, performance-oriented, this actually handles really well and much better than the competition, that's for sure. I love how willing and eager this engine is. It's really a great motor. Another thing here is this pavement isn't super smooth and uh, even though it's a little bit rougher, the ride is really smooth. The ride in this car is so comfortable and um, feels better than a lot of stuff that's even more expensive. But anyway, I have this car for an entire week, so I'm going to drive it around for several more days here and I'll come back and give you my updated impressions of what it's like to live with the Dart. All right, so I've been driving the Dart for an entire week now, and um, I really like it. It's a great little car. You know, there's so many cars, uh, you know, within this price range that's sub $20,000 stuff, most of it's just transportation that people buy to get from point A to point B. And this car does that, but this one is so much more than that. This one's actually fun to drive, and uh, I really like it. You know, I mean, it has the... Uh, 
over the week I've come to appreciate the sportier handling that it has. It does handle really well um, for you know the type of tires it's on and just being you know a non-performance car. It handles really well. I love the weighty steering. Um, you know, so many cars again in this bracket have such you know light steering, and this is nice and heavy. And um, I think this is a car that an enthusiast could really appreciate. Still, I mean, yes, it's not fast, but it has good punch. This engine, you know, it's 2.4 liter uh, four cylinder, 184 horsepower. I mean, it's it's actually pretty good for what it is, and it actually gets the car going really well. Um, there hasn't really been any instances where I've been wanting for more power. I mean, obviously, more power is always more fun, uh, and we'll get that eventually with an SRT4 version that we'll be getting, uh, you know, sometime down the road. Um, but in the meantime, I mean, this is still, it's it's plenty of power. Uh, you can still have some fun with it, and um, overall, I'm really impressed. Other things to note, um, you know, during the week that I've been driving it here with some commuting, some mixed, uh, you know, kind of spirited driving, I averaged right around 26.8 miles per gallon. So that's basically right on the money. The EPA estimates are 23 in the city, 35 on the highway for a combined MPG of 27. So we're right there at, you know, 26.8 round up to 27. So, um, you know, it's, it's pretty good fuel economy again for being a four door sedan and whatnot. So, uh, yeah, it's good to have that. Another thing uh, that I've really grown to appreciate over the past week is, uh, something that's an option, um, um, but it's the XM nav traffic kind of uh, notifications here with the Garmin GPS unit that it'll notify you whenever there's traffic up ahead that's you know really heavy and stuff and that's actually come in handy uh, several times already uh, in the past week that I've been driving it. Um, other things that I've just grown to appreciate is I love this dashboard at night. It's so pretty with the you know ambient uh, red lighting there on the dashboard. It's just very cool. Um, you know everything's so easy to use. Um, I just it's it's a really good car from an info, infotainment standpoint. Speaking of infotainment, um, it's great too. The, I wasn't expecting much out of this stereo. It's just the standard stereo that comes in the Dart. Um, but you know, I think it's six speakers. It sounds great. The bass is really much better than I was expecting. Um, it almost sounds like the Beats audio system or something. It's just it's got a lot of bass and um, it sounds really clean and crisp. And um, overall, very impressed with that as well. So overall, I mean, I really like the Dart. It's a great little car, and um, you know, I think that it does most things better than its competitors. And uh, so, I mean, I see a good amount of these around already. But it's definitely something that if you're in, if you're looking for something like this, definitely check out the Dart. It's a great car. Anyway, huge thanks to Dodge for providing me with this very nice press card to review for you guys today. And uh, so, let me know what you think about the Dart. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Take care.